Hi English learners, welcome back. We have another slideshow today and the topic is a barbecue invitation. So my question for you, which of these phrases can you hear in the text that we're about to listen to? I recommend that you don't look at subtitles the first time listening and if you're ready, let's begin. My dad's throwing a big barbecue this weekend. You're welcome to come. But if you want to hitch a ride, we'll be getting there early, like 4, 4.30 because we'll be helping him set up. He always goes to a lot of trouble. He makes these ribs and they just fall off the bone. I swear, you've never had anything like them. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know sometime today. He'll want a headcount before he goes shopping for all this stuff. I'm also gonna buy some drinks for everyone. You can either pitch in with me or feel free to bring something of your own. Okay, so the answer was to go to a lot of trouble. So that was a really nice warm up, but let's go through everything and find out exactly what the speaker said in that section. These are the comprehension questions that we're gonna go through at the end, but pause the video now if you wanna take a quick look first. And this is the color coding that we're going to use for the review. I'm just gonna put it right there above my head. So firstly, the speaker said, my dad's throwing a big barbecue this weekend. Now, the speaker didn't actually say party, but to throw something, it means to host or organize a party or some kind of other informal event. Notice it says informal. You wouldn't say to throw a business meeting or anything like that. An example sentence, she always throws the best parties or they threw a big baby shower for her. That might've been hard to catch, like I said, because she didn't actually say barbecue party or barbecue event. You're welcome to come, but if you want to hitch a ride, I mentioned in a previous video, hitch a ride, catch a ride, or get a lift. We'll be getting there early, like 4, 4.30, because we'll be helping him set up. He always goes to a lot of trouble. That was the question. Now, going to a lot of trouble is to work hard or spend a lot of time doing something for someone else. Even if you work hard at your job, you wouldn't really say I've gone to a lot of trouble at work today unless you're doing something for a particular person or something like that. There's no need to go to all of that trouble. You might say to somebody if they're offering to do something for you. And you can also say to go out of one's way. He makes these ribs and now she just goes on about the food. Uh, I don't know if it made you hungry, but it certainly did for me. And they just fall off the bone. So she's describing the meat they are so tender, so soft that they are falling off of the bone. Then she says, I swear you've never had anything like them. We say I swear to give emphasis. What you're saying is 100% true. Please believe me. It wasn't me, I swear. Or I swear it was a real UFO. I think that's a, a good example because seeing a UFO is not something very believable. So we add I swear to think, I know you're not going to believe me, but this is true. And we can also say, I'm telling you something, something. We use that the same way at the start of the sentence. So you've never had anything like them, these ribs before. That's hard to believe, but she's saying, I swear. Second page. Anyway, if you are interested, interested in attending, let me know sometime today. He'll want a head count before he goes shopping for all the stuff. So a head count is a number of people that are attending or going to attend something. We need to set up chairs. What's the head count? How many people are coming? In other words, how many chairs do we need? The teacher did a head count to be safe. In my mind, this is a, a class of young children. The teachers are making sure that everybody's there. I'm also going to buy some drinks for everyone. You, the listener, can either pitch in with me or feel free to bring something of your own. So to pitch in for something is to contribute in some way. This could be money, but it could also be helping out. The first example sentence, pitch in and grab some boxes. This means to help out. Maybe someone's just standing there doing nothing. Please pitch in and grab some boxes. I'm doing this, she's doing that you can grab these boxes. We're all gonna pitch in at the end. This is a little unclear. Maybe this is at a restaurant and someone's offering money. No, no, don't pay now. We're all gonna pitch in at the end. We're gonna put our money together before we leave. 
Be careful not to confuse it with to pitch without in. So you can pitch an idea, like if you're giving a sales pitch, for example, you're pitching uh, an idea or a suggestion. We need the in in there. So you can either pitch in with me or feel free to bring something of your own. Let's take a look now at those comprehension questions and see if we understood everything that was said. Question one, will the barbecue start at around 4.30? Now, she did mention 4, 4.30, but she said, if you want to come on a ride with us, if you want to get a ride, we'll be getting there early, like 4, 4.30, because we'll be helping him set up. So actually, this implies that the barbecue is gonna start later. This is getting there early so that they can help him. So the answer there would be no, it will start later. We don't know exactly when it will start, but not at 4.30. Question number two, does the speaker's dad need to know how many people will attend? We covered that head count means the number of people. Let me know sometime today. He will, this is meaning the dad, will want a head count before he goes shopping for all the stuff. He wants to know how much stuff he needs to get. So how many people does he need to buy food for? Yes, he does. And the last one, is the speaker asking for money? So we talked about pitching in, it could be for money. She said, I'm also gonna buy some drinks for everyone. So in this case, pitching in would mean paying money because she's buying something. So you can pitch in some money and I can buy some drinks, you can contribute that way. Or she gives a choice, feel free to bring something of your own. So she's not necessarily asking for money. You could give me some money for these drinks or if you want to bring your own snacks, cake, drinks, that's also fine. So the answer there, not necessarily, but they do want the listener to contribute in some way. So if you'd like to listen to the section again, please use the chapters in the video to help guide you through that. I also recommend shadowing or leave a comment with a phrase that you've learned today and I'll take a look at it. Thank you for joining me today. And if you would like to keep your studying going, there's another video right here for you. See you next time.